Today I'm going to show you how to stretch a painting. When you're working with botanical, you often have uh, areas of very wet and areas of very dry. So uh, the paper buckles and people get very concerned about this, but don't worry. Um, you can always stretch it at the end. And that is what I usually do. Uh, sometimes if a painting has had a lot of dry brushwork and not a lot of water, it doesn't need stretching, but generally, there will be some kind of buckling and it will show uh, when you frame it. So it's worth stretching if you can see any kind of buckling like this. So um, I'm gonna start by, I put a towel down and then I'm going to wet the whole back of the painting. So you can use a, a wide brush and just paint the water on. I am just going to use the spray bottle and I'm going to saturate it really. Um, okay, now that will start to buckle up more because it's so wet. Um, so don't freak out. It's okay. It will flatten down again. Uh, now, I'll keep that there. So just be careful. Try not to get water under the edge of the painting. So after a couple of minutes, it will be ready. Now you need to have some water activated tape to tape it. We're going to tape it to the window. Um, you can get this tape in white or brown. Just make sure that it is acid free. Um, so I'm just going to once again spray this. So I've got a lot of space here, so I'm just going to spray this into the air. You can, once again, use a brush and some water. Okay, so that's enough. Now, I'm going to take my painting and place it on the window. Make sure that your window is absolutely clean and dry. So I'm just going to place that there, get my tape and so it doesn't have to be half and half along that edge. I've just got the smallest amount. Sometimes I don't always think about how much room I need to leave around the painting. Um, so you need four pieces of that tape. So now that I've put the top one on there, that's holding that in place and I can put the other four on, other three. So I'll just I haven't left a lot of room on the sides. Now I'll do the other side. This tape will leave a lot of glue on the window, so it's a bit of a messy clean up job, but make sure you get it all off before you stretch your next painting on there. one along the bottom. Now this is really satisfying because within a couple of hours this painting will be stretched so taut and flat um, so you know it's going to work but don't be tempted to take it off too early leave it on there for a few hours depending on the weather. Um, you might see some bushfire haze out there we're in summer and it's pretty warm so it probably will only take a couple of hours, but I'll probably leave it on there for about four hours. Okay, so it's been a couple of hours now and this is really flat and smooth and dry. Um, so now you need to cut it off. Be very careful not to scratch your window or your glass. Um, so ideally a, a longer blade than this would be better. Um, so you just want to, there's a little sort of a gap just beside beside the painting there so you want to kind of go there we go and it'll it's so tight it'll start to pull away oh, of course it never goes the way that you want it to go I think maybe a little bit of water might have snuck under there so that's where you have to be careful because the gum there is a lot of gum on this tape and if it does sneak under the painting it can stick your painting to the glass so you need to be very careful about that. 
Okay, so I'm just going to run this down. Oops. Okay, and I have to get it away. Right, so you can see you've got a big mess to clean off there. That's going to be very gummy and messy. That's the fun part. Um, now, this is perfectly flat now and will be great for framing. Um, I will trim it now. I don't leave that tape on there. You probably could if you really had to, if you hadn't planned well enough. It is um, important to make sure that you leave enough room around your artwork to make sure that you can put the tape on for stretching. And there we have it. Thank you.